You know how at the end of the YouTube videos you embed on your blog, um, all those unrelated videos come up? On mine, it would be all Star Trek and Monty Python if I didn't configure the player. Now, I imagine you go to great lengths to get the attention of those right someones for your business. But imagine losing them at the precise moment they've become very interested in you, the end of the video, where it's time for the next step to take place. It would be like going on a date with a girl you really like, and then, instead of kissing her goodnight, you whip out a curated portfolio of nine other guys she might prefer over you. So, if you don't want everyone who watches your video on selling a home to see Star Trek at Kamakapalooza, this little tutorial is for you. So, the first thing to know is that if you want no videos at all to show up after yours, the only way to do that is to host your YouTube video on an unlisted channel, ideally with no other videos on it, which completely defeats the purpose of having a YouTube channel for lead generation. So, right now, in early 2020, the best we can hope for with YouTube is that nothing but your videos show up at the end. And until recently, YouTube made that easy. In fact, you'd see up to nine of your own videos, depending on the size of the frame. Without the right embed code, though, you would see other people's videos that you have watched. But if you make a video every week or so, the damage something like this can do is immeasurable, like having all the fish fall out of your net. But when your videos show up at the end, even though your viewer goes back to YouTube to watch them, they would have watched at least two in a row, and that makes a lasting impression. So anyway, even though YouTube will shortly get rid of the easy way to do this because it's inside something called Creator Studio Classic, you still want to be able to put only your videos in the lineup. So I'll show you how to do that using two different techniques. The first involves getting you to a special embed page in Creator Studio Classic, which only shows up one time. And the second technique involves using just a tiny snippet of the earlier version of the embed code. And I also think it will solve the problem for a good long while. Well, at least in internet years. So, technique number one. You'll need a video that hasn't been uploaded yet. So go to your channel and go up to the Create button choose Upload Video. Click on Upload with Classic. I'm going to click Skip. They already know how I feel about this issue. Make sure you've selected Unlisted. Drag a video over the icon. Wait for it to upload and process. Click the Done button. Click on Embed. Show More. Choose your video size. I like 640 by 360 for my blog pages because that shows the highest number of videos at the end. I choose Show Player Controls and nothing else because I like a minimalist look. Just make sure that Show Suggested Videos when the video finishes is not selected. This doesn't mean what it says. What it means is that if you don't click on this selection, it shows only your videos, not no videos at all. Now, go back up to the embed code, click in the field, and drag it down slightly. This selects the entire code. Then, just copy and paste the code into an HTML field on your blog. While you're there, put your cursor at the question mark and pull back to show info equals zero and the other quotation mark, and then copy and paste that snippet somewhere you can get to it in a moment because we're gonna use that code in technique number two. Anyway, when you play that video now, there will be a bunch of videos at the end and they will all be yours. Simple, right? Now, technique number two doesn't require a new video because there is no place to choose the embed code in the fancy new interface on YouTube. All you get is a link. And if we paste that link in,
we see that it just won't do. I don't recognize any of those videos. So go back and click on View on YouTube. Then click on Share. Then click on Embed. Then click on the code once. Then click on Copy. Then paste it into an HTML field and play the video. And you'll see all the unrelated videos come up at the end. So let's go back in and we're going to make this new one look a little bit more like the code that worked. So now select and copy the little snippet you had set aside before. Now put your cursor at the end of the name of the video and select to just before the word allow and hit paste. It should look like this. And presto changeo, all your videos come up. So by being aware of the true purpose of your videos, which leads to a better understanding of the function of this end screen, you can get a tremendous amount of value just from the simple little tactics I just showed you. So no matter what YouTube does, your videos will be offered up at the end of your video. And that's the end of this video. See you next time on The Visible Authority.